Uh, I was very happy the, with the weekend, you know, overall. Uh, I was trying to break some barriers in here, but it didn't really work out. You know, I was trying to go 21 seconds in the 50 and uh, 48 in the 100, but you know, I was, I was really close to it, and I think, I think I'm in a good spot right now in the season. You know, uh, usually at this time of the season we go really heavy in the weight room, really heavy in the water. So the last the last meters are harder than usual. Yeah. I felt like I was, <laughs> I just had like a thousand pounds in my back in the last 10 meters in the 100. But uh, I think, you know, just being in the U.S., it, it makes swimming, you know, competing easier. You know, you have Michael Phelps on your side, Ryan Lochte, and I think those guys really take you, you know, to to a different level of, you know, thinking and concentrating to the race. So, uh, overall, I'm, I'm happy with, uh, with you know, the, the whole thing, you know, how I'm approaching the race, how I'm racing, and uh, how I'm just you know physically you know uh, in shape right now. And you were you were in the lane right next to Michael, right? Yeah, you know it's a little tougher than usual. You know yeah. when you get up on the block, and you you hear those laps in his back. So uh, it is it is fun. You know it, it makes it more fun because it brings more adrenaline to the race. You know it really makes you you know show to everybody what you're made of. You know? I'm glad I won. You know? It makes me feel even better. He, now he said he gave you a little too much space at the beginning. Did you notice that you were gonna have had some room? I guess. Well, that was my that was the only chance I had of uh, winning the race. You know, I knew my speed. You know, my easy speed was going to be the the difference in the race, and uh, his backhand was was going to be the best. So uh, I just had to you know hold him back and uh, try to do the best, and it worked out for me. And that helped going through the end. You said you felt like you had a thousand pounds on your back towards the end of it. Were you, you know, just kind of hoping that that lead had kept from the first turn? Yeah. That that well, I had a thousand pounds on my back, but at the same time, I saw Michael on my side. I was like, Haha, he's not catching me, you know. <laughs> There's no, I mean, I'm going to lose this race. So, uh, just take a lot of pride of, you know, winning this race and uh, being the world record holder. You know, I think it's always important, though, to just keep winning every time you can to, to show to everybody that you're ready. Does this make you optimistic about the next time you, uh, you face him maybe at the World Championship? I think, I think, you know, it's it's always good to race guys at this level, you know, like the Frenchies, like the Australians and, and Michael, so uh, I see more more than just the time and how you swim, you know, it's, it's always good to see how you approach, you know, psychologically against those guys. And, uh, I'm happy with, with how I'm doing, you know, how I'm preparing for the race. Is this a race you were looking forward to? Absolutely. I'm going to try to defend my titles to the 1500 free from, uh, from Rome. And, uh, after that, I have the Pan American game, so it'll be a very busy year. Says our, Mike, Michael couldn't catch you tonight, but who can catch you this summer? I think, you know, everybody could be considered a threat. You know, I think the 50 and 100 free are, are very tough races. You know, it's hard to predict who's going to win. But uh, just, right now, I'm just focused on my race, focused on my performance, and uh, hopefully, I'm going to be the guy to catch myself. Thank you.